there are some elements uh, that uh, um, <coughs> ministers, uh, but also uh, prime ministers, presidents and chancellors, uh, heads of state and government in general, have uh, signaled as elements that could be interesting to explore. So elements that could be identified not as uh, something on which we decide already next week or in a month from now, but we can explore more for the future. Um, as elements that could be, uh, that are already present in our um, treaties as possibilities, but maybe need a little bit more of uh, reflection and options uh, to be studied and, and prepared. Um, this is the case for sure for PESCO, but uh, more on the horizon, uh, and because it's one of the elements where we would be testing something completely new. Uh, so a little bit of uh, options uh, and, uh, and possibilities uh, would be uh, required. It could be uh, also, uh, there could be also reflection on uh, um, a coordinated annual review on defense to enable us to deliver together the required capabilities uh, for the level of ambition. Uh, there could be an option to uh, address together shortcomings in our structures for planning and conduct of military and civilian CSDP missions and operations. Here again, I would like to stress this is not about establishing new big structures. It's not a shape kind of headquarters we're looking at uh, or even uh, thinking of. But uh, I've heard from many uh, member states, actually most of, if not all of, the need to streamline more what we have. Anytime that I'm asked, are you thinking of establishing a headquarter, I point out to the fact that we already have five headquarters. It's a matter of uh, making our structure, existing structures um, work better and in a more rational way. And here I think uh, your expertise and your uh, advices could be extremely helpful, I think, also from an operational point of view, how to uh, make what we have uh, work better, improve civilian and military synergies, improve the continuity between planning and conduct of missions and operations, Again, something that might be definitely less sexy from a communicating point of view than the European Army, which as you as have clearly understood is not on the table, but uh, something that we require to work uh, in an efficient uh, and effective way. The other thing that uh, um, I believe uh, would be useful to uh, study and to um, put on the table is uh, um, a reflection on the rapid response uh, tools we have, uh, starting from the um, always uh, discussed but never used uh, uh, issue of the battle groups. Uh, so going deep uh, from a very pragmatic but also ambitious point of view on what we have and what, why things we have do not work at the maximum speed we can have, we can need, provided we need it. Uh, always following a political indication. So uh, this all requires also an increased financial solidarity, more flexibility in our financial tools. Uh, and this is why we would be suggesting to the ministers to look also at the possibility of having uh, a range uh, of funding options uh, for our um, uh, uh, missions and operations and in general terms uh, for our uh, CSDP. Um, because, as I said before, uh, the financial coverage uh, of uh, already existing uh, CSDP, but even more if we uh, look at a different level of ambition, we will need to look seriously uh, to that. Uh, so I'll stop here also because um, I'm very much interested in hearing your uh, views. Uh, as always, not only questions, but I'm also very much interested in hearing comments and suggestions. Um, as I said, um, the idea is to have a very pragmatic approach, but uh, also an ambitious approach. Um, this time I turned uh, the common European Union practice uh, uh, upside down. Normally we go s slowly step by step on the consolidated consensus. This time I thought it was good uh, for me to present all possible range of options and then ask the member states how far they want to go. Uh, so that uh, we do not prevent any kind of uh, uh, thinking or decision, uh, but we move together, uh, and I stress here together. Um, I forgot <coughs> to mention one thing, 
for me it's natural, but I understand it's always better to, to stress this, as well as I always stress the fact that this exercise is uh, uh, also to strengthen our partnership with NATO, but also with the United Nations, uh, because a stronger European Union in security and defense will also make our cooperation with NATO or with the United Nations stronger. Um, Another thing that I didn't um, uh, spell out uh, explicitly, but this is more than obvious for me, uh, this is an exercise we do at 28, and still at 28. Uh, so all the narrative of uh, we strengthen now uh, the EU security and defense uh, cooperation, it's because of the results of the UK referendum, not at all. For me, uh, this is a result of the, of the increased need to have security and defense deliverables uh, to our citizens. And uh, the more we manage to do together at 28, uh, the happier I believe all of us will be and uh, the more effective our work will be. Um, so very pragmatic approach, uh, also very ambitious, uh, trying to move together uh, with, uh, as I said, uh, clear goals, clear actions, uh, with no time for big uh, uh, theoretical debates or philosophical debates. Uh, but um, I hope that out of this process uh, we will come uh, with a very tight uh, timeline, um, with uh, really um, some um, game-changing uh, decisions uh, in practical terms and, and make our common work uh, uh, function uh, better. And as I said, in terms of process, next week, well, we started this work over the summer. Uh, we had first uh, orientation debates with uh, foreign ministers, with defense ministers, most of all. Uh, heads of state and government had uh, some exchanges already um, in this respect, both in Bratislava in a, an informal summit at 27, but also in the European Council started to uh, reflect a bit on this. Next week, and then obviously a constant work uh, uh, through um, PSC. Uh, next week, uh, Foreign Affairs Council, Foreign Ministers and Defence Ministers together, European Council in December, and then obviously from that moment onwards, uh, our work uh, on implementing step by step all the single uh, elements on which we will decide uh, will be our daily uh, work on which I'm really very much looking forward to work together in a strongly associated manner.